As a new user of the social networking site Instagram, I'm amazed at the number of fitness addicts who use it to show off their gains. Pictures of peaked biceps, rippling abs and slim waist tend to get the most likes. This led me to believe one thing, that the true purpose of these pictures is not to show off, but to motivate others to fall in line as well. Welcome ladies and gents to the show that will help you fall in track. Welcome to the Men's Health and Women's Health Show. On the program today, how a young boy went from 130 kilos to 81 and won his life back. An inspiring story of an amputee who is training hard to participate in a cyclothon. And our restaurant spy goes indulging again. Finds delicious food needn't always mean unhealthy food. Up next is some grit, determination and heart-wrenching drama. Himanshu Kumar is an amputee who has dreams to fulfill. He wants to participate in a cyclothon. Let's watch him train and cheer him on. An accident in 2008 left Himanshu an amputee. My accident was in 2008, 8 June 2008, a uh, road accident. After that, I had a mistake of the doctor. That was almost seven years back. Today, Himanshu Kumar inspires many with his undying spirit and determination. A burning desire to get the better of his handicap saw this gritty 21-year-old discover the athlete in himself. He has been running with a blade and has successfully completed several races of varying distances. I can't say it as a shock, it's a genuine one. Because 21 days ago, he ran from Agra to Delhi, when he was also very injured. But in the injury, he ran from the injury. He's such a jolly guy. He's not trying to gain your sympathy. Never, ever. He's like all gummo. You ask him to raise his trousers, show us your wound, he's all game. And he participates in the small runs, in the 6km run in the ADHM or something. Himanshu is turning his handicap into an instrument of change for the physically challenged. He has set up Gritathalon with an aim to take forward his vision of raising awareness and funds for disabled people. And what he plans to do next is surprising to say the least. In January 2016, he plans to cycle the 1,500 km stretch that divides Delhi from Mumbai. I have this challenge with artificial without artificial cycles. It has been very low possible, but it has been more than possible to do it in India. This is the biggest challenge for me. In 15 days, I have 1500 km every day, 100 km target. First, I will ride the artificial leg. After that, I will remove the combination of artificial leg. Then, I will cycle with one leg. I practice in the gym and usually the goal is to walk more than more time in the gym. I don't have a normal public transport in public transport. I have to do it in January, so I will try to practice every day for one or two hours. Himanshu is going to be able to do food dieting. He will be able to do food dieting. The most important thing is to be a coach. In India, there is no coach available. उसके लिए साफ काफी प्रॉब्लम आती है कि विदाउट कोच ट्रेनिंग करते हैं गलत एक्सरसाइज कर लेते हैं जिससे कि काफी इंजरीज आ जाती हैं तो वो चीज रहती है कि अगर गवर्नमेंट अगर कोच प्रोवाइड करे और अच्छे हमको सपोर्ट दे फाइनेंशियल सपोर्ट अच्छा है अच्छा कोचेस है तो हम जरूर आगे जाएंगे। Of course, he hopes to have better success with fundraising, which will be the key to Greater Thalon's sustainable success in the longer term. TRG now I'm hoping we are a 2000 plus group on Facebook so I'm hoping that you know this event he's planning to do an event in January and I'm hoping that we help him raise some funds for that because uh, it's just not possible he's he's attempting uh, attempting to cycle from Mumbai to Delhi personally one can only probably you know 
moral support. But as a group, probably we can help more than that. When you see a guy like Himanshu, who has some challenges, I mean, that's clear for anyone to see. And when you see him exercising, when you see him achieving something, it's, uh, it's more and more uh, satisfying. It is more, you feel more happy, you feel more energized throughout the day that, yes, my efforts, our efforts together would also help him achieve uh, what he wants to achieve and make him happy at the end of the day. Himanshu Kumar continues with his drive to excel and he has certainly raised the bar of inspiration and determination. Hi, this is Nargis Factory and you can catch me on the cover of Women's Health. It was really fun shooting for Women's Health because of course we had a great team. Uh, we worked super fast. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and Nargis has been outspoken about how her mother beat back breast cancer. She shares with us how helping her mother make positive, holistic changes to her lifestyle shaped her own idea of wellness. It helped her take charge of her body, to be responsible for what she is eating and her commitment to fitness. So Nargis was just the right fit for our October issue of Women's Health. Being fit and being healthy should start from a very young age. Nargis is the women's health girl because she's fun, she's fiercely independent and she has a very curious quality about her. She treats her body with care, she engages with what is happening around her, she speaks out. Everyone should find the time in the day, whether it's 15 to 30 minutes even, for a bit of exercise. That would, you know, make a huge difference in your life. And then another thing, eating healthy is very important. My exercise pattern is erratic. I need a combination of something that's mellow exercise, which would be the Tai Chi, the Qi Gong, and even my meditation and Hatha Yoga, along with various days of high energy cardio. I prefer more vegetables in my diet, like stir fry vegetables or even raw foods, salads. But I do cheat, as everyone has seen, because I do have a sweet tooth. So when I feel like it, I'll have chocolate cake. So I'm not going to deprive myself, but I'm going to know that this is not something I'm doing every day. You must remember that you are what you eat, right? To know more about Nargis Fakhri, her fitness and diet secrets, grab the October issue of Women's Health. This show is famous for its stories on how losing weight has helped people turn their lives around for the better. But even we weren't prepared for this one. Kunal Longani lost 30 kilos, went from 130 to 81 and won his confidence back. Here's his story. I was a uh, foodie. You know, you always remember those insults and those uh, embarrassing moments and all the absurd names that you could ever think of of a fat child which I'm sure everybody is like aware of, you know, from uh, you know, alu to tomato to anything possible. Weight loss is actually a transformation which completely changes someone from the inside out. It not only changes your physical appearance but your complete persona as well. I'm Shivan Chandna from Men's Health and today I'm meeting Kunal Longani who was one of the heaviest guys I knew back in college. I haven't seen him in eight years and I'm waiting for him to come and show me, you know, what his weight loss journey is all about. So today what we're going to do is... What's up, buddy? Are you serious? Okay. Well, I am Where's serious. Kunal? This is, the, this, this is the left of part of him. How are we going? That's Kunal Longani. I mean, I, I, I can't tell you what he used to look like. Let's meet him, let's talk to him, let's find out what it's, his journey has been all about. I think at my peak, I was like, what, 130 kilos. And at my lowest, I went down till 81. 
It was 2010 when I actually joined the gym, uh, which is something that I hated. I never was a gym person. Uh, it just happened, so I landed up in this gym, uh, given a yearly membership, and then since then there was no turning back. Really. It was a crazy routine that I was setting into, where I was dedicating at least three hours a day. I was going into this really, it was a drug kind of an addiction where I was like hitting it, doing four hours at a day, doing classes, trying to do gym, trying to do cardio, trying to do anything possible, what was working for me. And well, luckily with the trainer that I had, he kept pushing me as well. I get bored of a gym, as any person would get after a point of time because you want to change your routine. So that led me to other activities such as swimming, which was always side by side something that I was always enjoyed doing and it kind of like substituted as a relaxing uh, factor. When gym finished, I used to like head back to swim and stuff. Swimming is something that I've been doing for years. Uh, living in the Conley right across, it just helps. It's a little convenient spot. So it's been about around 15, 20 years that I've been coming to the same pool. Uh, been regular, so I enjoy it. It's, it's refreshing. It's never helped me lose weight, but they say it helps me tone up. I generally try to average what around about 40 lengths, which is approximately a kilometer. If I look at it, this is a good uh, 25 meter pool. So, yeah, like no numbers as such. I just try to push myself as much as I can. I think it's just relaxing for the muscles. I think after the long workout, the, the hectic uh, gym routine that I'm into, it just helps me calm down, relax a bit. So. It's kind of refreshing more than anything else in this weather and all the heat. And then came the next love of my life, which was cycling. Uh, something that uh, I grew on thanks to, again, uh, spinning that I started in the gym. I used to spin a lot. Uh, spinning kind of helped me get that indoor cycling to the outdoor, where, which resulted in me becoming a big cycling buff and a junkie, uh, which results in me cycling thrice a week. We picked the morning time, which is a convenient time uh, where the traffic is less and it's a good weather to bike and stuff. And uh, Sundays is a ritual. We like I bike with the Delhi Cyclists, which is a very prominent group which started this activity years back. And it definitely is something that I'll keep for life. I think for sure. Yeah. I think food is like a major ingredient. Uh, you might work out as much as you want, but at the end of the day, if you're not eating right, it's, it's, it's of no use. I think I realized that. And I did give up everything. But I believe that your first meal of the day has to be totally like a bang on big meal, which kind of worked for me. So right now, this is just a bean salad that uh, you know I prepare. And it's, it's just basic stuff, beans and all. Try to keep it low these days. Um, it's a healthy salad, a healthy start to the day. And then yeah, proteins of course, you know, the, during the day you have to like take smaller meals. My instructors put me to it, a new regime. So I'm trying it out, let's see how it goes. A lot of changes in lifestyle and habits do come about. Uh, the way people see you, the way people perceive you changes of course, which of course something I had also witnessed. So one of the changes which of course, you know, also was there, which is kind of funny, but yes, it is a trend these days, the selfies. I think uh, in my group, I'm known for putting my chin right up there and, you know, give, you know, try to show my uh, jawline, which is of course in progress. And now the goal so forth is to work towards a triathlon, which is coming up. Uh, that's something that I really want to do. It involves uh, cycling, swimming and running, of course, which is like cycling is around about 50 kilometers minimum. Swimming around about 2 kilometers and running around about 21 kilometers, which is going to be a tedious and an uphill task. But I'm working towards it. Uh, that's something that I really want to do and uh, hopefully I'll get there. You know, frankly speaking, I still can't believe that this is the same guy I knew back in college. Are you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I remember him as the guy who used to sit on the sidelines giving water to the whole team. But today I meet a man who's preparing for the triathlon. He's completely transformed his life, and you can too. I'm Shivan Channa signing off for Men's Health. It's now time to head into a short break, but there's a lot of delicious food on the other side, so do come right back. Coming up after the break, our restaurant spy goes indulging in mouth-watering food again. Shows that delicious food needn't always mean unhealthy food. Our restaurant spy is out to prove a point. 
Every week she takes us up close to indulgent, sinful food and then shows us how to eat it right without sacrificing our fitness goals. Let's take a look. When you think of Mediterranean diet, your mind goes from pizzas and pastas from Italy to hummus and pita from Greece. But which of these foods actually reap the benefit of health? I'm at Zuroko, New Delhi and let's see what are our options today. One of the biggest challenges in maintaining a healthy lifestyle these days is eating healthy vegetables. Definitely, salads can be a great way to do it, but it also depends on which salads you actually pick from. Today, I have grilled vegetables with tahini and a Caesar salad. One of the most popular health claims from a Mediterranean diet is its healthy heart-promoting properties. And that comes from the vegetables. Vegetables are also a very rich source of fiber, which help in lowering your bad cholesterol and also help in lowering your blood pressure. But again, you cannot just look at vegetables in isolation. You have to pair it with a healthy dressing. Here, I have with me tahini, which is made with hung curd. It is a source of probiotics. It is also low in fat and comes with a little bit of protein. Also, it contains sesame seeds, which give you healthy fats for the heart. This is actually a very good option for people who like to offer creamy dressings and can be a great substitute for mayonnaise. Which brings me to my other dish, which is a Caesar salad. Caesar salad definitely consists of mayonnaise, which gives you a lot of saturated fat. So it is definitely a better option to go for tahini with grilled vegetables. It's not just the mayo, but it also contains cheese, which is high in sodium and high in saturated fats. And also the bread croutons add to the empty calories. So just keep away. And for my main meals today, I've ordered Moroccan couscous and tomato risotto. Who says healthy eating has to be boring? Couscous, often confused as a grain, is actually a tiny pasta. It is made with wheat and it has a similar properties like upma. So my couscous comes with chickpeas with a very interesting gravy full of vegetables which makes it a wholesome meal. Chickpeas and couscous is a perfect protein carb combination which is high in fiber. And this kind of a meal preparation definitely gives the goodness of Mediterranean diet which can keep your heart healthy, lower your cholesterol and excess blood pressure. My other option is tomato risotto. Many people consider rice eating unhealthy. Well, that's not true. But here, my risotto is made with cheese and tomato gravy, which is definitely unhealthy. Also, risotto rice is made with short grain rice, which is high in starch. So if you're watching out your blood glucose level, just watch out and pair it with a lot of vegetables. The Mediterranean diet is incomplete without ordering the meze platter, which comes with different dressings and I have ordered the non-vegetarian platter, so it comes with chicken, fish, lamb and prawns. Mediterranean food is well known for hummus. Hummus is made with chickpeas, which gives you a goodness of protein, fiber and good fats. Also, I have with me baba ganoush, which is made with eggplant and contains different bell peppers, so it can be a great anti-aging dip. The true benefit of Mediterranean diet only comes if you stick to meat preparations which are lean in nature, such as chicken or fish 
again not deep fried or battered but marinated with herbs and could be grilled avoid lamb preparations which are restructured such as sikh because they are restructured using a lot of fat and starch lamb is naturally very high in fat so taking a preparation which has added fat increases the fat content considerably so in reality the true benefit of mediterranean diet comes from fruits vegetables whole grains and lean meats and if you really want to enjoy the mediterranean health then eat slowly and be more active and as long as you follow these simple tips you'll be fit and healthy with that it's time to wrap yet another episode for more regular updates follow me on twitter and instagram at jamal sheik and on facebook at jamal s sheik and until next week keep that show off body in place for we'll never be happy with your fit not until you're at your fittest